<laughs> What's up? Oh god, okay. Choir day number whatever the heck. I don't know. What's up with you? <laughs> Dear viewers, how are you doing? Um, I'm quarantined with a cat and it's doing something. Self quarantine, I don't know. There are people like protesting in all these states trying to get back to work. People are dying. It's, uh, you know, stuff is wild. It's funny that like a few, not a few weeks ago, we were um, in, a, in a zone where it was like YouTube would be uh, buzzword nailing you if you said coronavirus. <laughs> And now we all just don't care. Oh gosh, the uh that's that's interesting. That's like kinda censorship vibes or something. <laughs> like that junk is real. You gotta stay inside, friends. Come on. <laughs> oh, I need a second monitor on this setup. I don't know what I'm doing today. I just had a little extra time alone, uh, for once and that sounds salty. It's fine, I'm fine. It doesn't it's not a big deal. Honestly with quarantine stuff you know, you just got to deal with it because sometimes you just can't get exactly what you want. Like, goodness gracious. Anyway, this is a uh, <laughs> a house that I've been building, I guess. My main my main gaming needs needs. I don't need anything. Again, with the with the things that we want and the things that we need. My main gaming prerogative has been kind of like on on a 2DS because I've wanted one for a while because they're cheap and um, I kind of enjoy that design. I have like a slate device. Anyway, a gaming gaming console. Oh, what if I just like... Zoop, 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 Yeah. Um, I, I always have liked the design, right? And then I like the 3DS library of games. So my main, like, gaming jams have been on that lately because I got one right before everything, like, hit the fan. Kind of. Almost, like, in the midst of everything starting to hit the fan, which is a little bit irresponsible sending things in the mail like that. But um, I did it anyway. Don't be like me, especially not now. Um, also, like, I don't, like, support your post office. I don't know how to do that in this time, but um, taking the post office away, I love the post office. Like, that's one of my favorite things about... Um, being alive i don't know oops i just destroyed a piece of glass on the front dang it um oh yeah so this is made of like bees nests and hay and mushrooms it's great it's like <laughs> we're in a field um i i don't really have any plans today for any i'm just uh in my real life i definitely do but in terms of me recording this video right now i'm just uh doing stuff and I have like I have <laughs> some things, some other things that I want to do as well in this time, if I can get to them. Um, but first, I need to finish this, and then I'll finish that stuff, and we'll see where we end up. Because um, I've been not making content lately, and uh, for whatever reason, um, even though YouTuber doesn't seem like a a, a job that's a <laughs> <laughs> that's a real thing maybe maybe i was a, a tv producer in a past life um you know i don't think so <laughs> but uh I, I do like making content it's fine it's a, it's a it's a thing that uh you know i don't know why though it's not like i really get to connect with many people i just do it mainly for myself but i like making videos um and who cares but i haven't gotten to do it in a while and and only when i get to to do that have a little break from it uh does it make me realize that i just like making videos in the same talking uh vein ew as that <laughs> i hate veins um that video i post i think my channel is cursed I'm not saying that I make anything good because I don't, but the 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 video with the the secret what is it the the Instagram weird test post that I found I still have access to it I still have it in saved in a message and I think it still works I checked it like a few days after I filmed that video um and 
I saw it once again. <laughs> I saw it another time. Uh, the Contrary Target. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just go check out. I don't know who I'm talking to right now. Uh, go to the post <laughs> that was last on my YouTube. Um, you know, I try. I like saw the thing, and I'm like, ooh, this could be something juicy that like maybe somebody will want to watch. Because that's the type of stuff that I watch on YouTube. I'm trying not to swear. I don't know why. It's the type of shit I watch on YouTube. Um, I grew up not swearing. I grew up repressing the hell out of trying to not swear. And now I'm like on the opposite end. It's like a problem. I think this is just going to be like a very uh, uh, funky video, which is fine. So what was I? Oh, right. That, that video. I don't know. It kind of like it did as uh you know views wise if we're paying attention kind of kind of did like the other ones and like it didn't really seem like anybody saw it uh, a few people did shout out uh pierre i think pierre saw it that's an interesting connection as well i, I did this series called looking for jenny Bolito that was like a an interesting um deep dive into a body modification enthusiast with a very big librette and uh filtrum lip plates and and wild stuff from somewhere in Europe <laughs> and I found this artist who who made like portraits of this person and uh and then eventually like the artist found my video <laughs> and it's amazing and uh they sometimes comment on my on my thing and it's awesome their their art's a, a total trip check that out Pierre what is it Pierre Jackson 2005 or some I'll put the thing there they they are wild <laughs> it's deep dive down that path as well if you can goodness gracious Shout out to you. Thanks for watching. We're, we're doing YouTube things. I have no idea what's happening. <laughs> um, I just really, I just really, right now, I want to build things that don't, don't make sense. I, maybe that's a reflection of the time we're living in. I have, <laughs> I can only not have so much fun for a while. You feel me? Uh, I started a Sims game yesterday, like Sims 3, but I don't, I don't know. It tried to make me get a job, and it's just kind of like, I don't, I love jobs. We all love jobs, but how many virtual jobs can I really handle? I'm kind of kidding. I just got a little bit, like, I want to start playing Terraria, and I then played Mario. <laughs> <laughs> You know, like you do. I can't really see because it's dark. That's a problem. Oh gosh, brightness is a hundred percent. I don't know how how do you how do you skip day and and creative. I play Minecraft occasionally. I don't really have a good setup for it. I haven't. I've never bought the. I'm on Pocket Camp on a uh, Pocket Camp. I'm on Pocket Edition on a uh, on a PC. Because I paid the six dollars, I don't know. It, it seems like you can get an APK for it. I don't. I like. I love. Uh, I don't know. I don't. <laughs> I'm not like. I don't love Notch or anything. <laughs> Whatever. But I like. I like the the game of Minecraft. I think it's a fun game. I think like they should be rewarded for their for their their game of that's nice. I'm not trying to totally steal it. Um, on that aspect, you didn't hear this from me, but you can hack demo mode just a thing that like i'm talking to the dev the people who put it out like you can't hack demo mode <laughs> and it's really easy to hack demo mode you just have a timer at the top but you can't have like a world we don't use blocks of diamonds what am i doing what am i doing just breathing into the mic you feel me i feel the power of the gourd inside uh, what else have I been doing? I haven't, uh, I've been working on album covers for stuff, whatever, you know, follow my Instagram. I post things like that there. I also have a, a Patreon Instagram cause I'm on Patreon. I feel bad for my patrons. I don't know what I'm doing these. I mean, I'm working on actual patron things these days, but it's like, I feel bad that I'm not making content. But then at the same time, like I know those folks are around. Shout out Aurora Sun, Adam and Juno. Gosh darn, I know those folks are around because they su support me. I always, like, for some reason want to say, like, it's okay if you don't have money or funds to do it. I'll still, like, be, you know, you can still have access to everything. So I'm just making a roof out of monster spawners. It's going to be fun. Um, 
ye- <laughs> yeah, I'm all, uh, I'm kind of like, I love, I love y'all. And if y'all need to like not be paying me money, go ahead. It's fine. Um, I will, I will still give you access to all of my Patreon wares regardless because you supported me. I think that should be like the deal. It's like, or maybe I don't, I never got to the place where I have like tears yet of anything like that because I just haven't gotten that many variances of patrons. It's, it's, it's like people who are what I've seen, which maybe if you're a small creator and like, this might be a vibe for you and you're starting to, you know, the, the first people who like support you or anything, they've always been like really good friends. Like Juno has bought a handful of my albums. So is Adam like, and these people are like good friends who the stuff like clicks with them. And that's really meaningful. Um, because we live in like a weird <laughs> social media landscape where, uh, it's kind of like hard to know if you're doing like good things, you know, cause sometimes like people, you kind of look at, uh, people who are out there thriving and it's like, dang, I could do something, I could do something similar and maybe try and maybe it doesn't work, whatever, like the old, the vibe of small creators kind of starting out and having a hard time finding their niche or finding their audience. I mean, like, that's completely me <laughs> all the time. That's a, a normal place to be in, right? Like, I feel like if anything, I want to spread that that idea that like it's normal to because <laughs> I've kind of seen it happen for myself like I, I started out really wanting to like build something and then and then like I realized how it works a little bit more online because you don't hear the story because the people who experience that version of things don't really like talk about it or, or aren't really like popular and I kind of look at friends like uh who are smaller YouTubers. I know one of my friends who, Alex J. Bremer, uh, is doing, I mentioned this in an Animal Crossing video <laughs> that I did the other week. Uh, he's making really cool uh, new Animal Crossing Let's Plays, and that's been fun to watch. When it first came out, I was like, I, I, want, a, uh, I want a Let's Play to watch, you know? And he was one of the first ones to put one up. So, but also like a really cool like non-binary creator person. They also have like a Discord server for like small content creators. Like it's a thing, you know, if you're a small content creator, you're not alone <laughs> by any means. There's so many small content creators out there. It's fine to be, it's fine to not have like, a l it's normal, you know what I'm saying? I think sometimes it can seem like it's not normal and I think there's been times where I thought it wasn't normal for myself to, to kind of exist in that space of like, well, what am I, what am I doing? Who am I doing this for? But sometimes you, like I said before, you just like making content. Um, and sometimes, sometimes it's like difficult to, uh, you know, connect that. Anyway, I was <laughs> kind of surprised that, that that uh that Instagram video, I don't know. I thought I like made the thumbnail pretty, like what would actually get like a hundred views or something. <laughs> Whatever. Stop complaining. Okay. So what are we? What are we? Dang it. What are we doing today? Uh right. So I've been, I've been playing my 2DS. I've been uh, working on album covers. Uh, you know, I don't know if you can see that. I've been working on stuff, right? And things that I've kind of been slacking off on, not wanting to do. And this time has been a good time to get things done, I I think. So, I've been pretty, like, busy, I guess. Uh, not making very much minis. I still have a part-time job. Ooh, that was lightning. I still have a part-time job, but it got cut down to like one day a week, but I think I'm still getting the same pay, which is really cool of them, considering it's a non-profit. <laughs> and uh, isn't that the thing about the small business loans? Like they don't go to non-profits. Very cool. Um, but I did, I did have a little money drop in that bank account. Thanks United States. Thanks Uncle Sam. 
Oh, I wanted to talk about podcasts. That's actually interesting. <laughs> Let's talk about podcasts. And uh, this is absurd. I want to I wanna build more in this creative world because it's funny. <laughs> uh, okay. I want to um, grip uh, this fingerboard. I got to put stuff in the middle. That's grip for my... Uh, my sponsor, I have a fingerboard sponsor. I have a fingerboard account, Q, Q underscore control on Instagram. Uh, control spelled CTRL. But my, uh, my FB sponsor sent me a while back. I don't know where I put it, it's somewhere in here. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> my, my friend over at phase one, at phase one lifestyle sent me this, uh, it's a pack of grip bits, so if you're into fingerboarding and you like um, grip tape on your fingerboard, as in like skate grip, uh, colored, Steven has a whole bunch of stuff. So I'm gonna, <laughs> I want to do a uh, a little thing in the in the middle right there with with grip, and I wanted to kind of film it and make a, a time lapse of it. And I guess talk about podcasts while I do that. This is variety show time. This is what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's been a while trying to make make a quote unquote content and not talk about making content too much <laughs> is this content for content creators sometimes I think that uh, the only type of music that I like is uh, like music for musicians you know <laughs> like music that sound guys like uh, dad rock I don't know Okay, podcast for podcasters. What do I have in terms of in terms of my the podcast that I've been listening to recently? Oh, a new one that I recently found is called Gender Fluids with um hosted by Miss Ava Smart and uh, at Ellen DeGenderless, aka Ariel Norman, and uh, yeah, Gender Fluids is a great podcast if you're into like just queer weirdness. It's great. Okay, I'm just looking through my daily feed of podcasts. I started listening to podcasts on Spotify, and um, it's really not that bad. Uh, it's actually better than I had Google Podcasts before. I've I've listened to podcasts on Player FM. I've listened to them on Himalaya, and honestly, Spod Spod Spodcasts Spotify is like the the most. Um, the experience of it and obviously i've used the apple podcast app before but i don't even like that one i i it's weird it's the best experience i've had so far all right so we got daily zeitgeist if you're into like it's political it's not for everyone you know but what the hell i am cord with a cat you know strange news daily hosted by ben bolin i kind of wish that ben talked in like a normal voice he talks in this news caster voice and it's a little weird <laughs> Sorry, Ben. It's just that he talks in a normal voice on um, stuff they don't want you to know, and it's better. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, No Dogs in Space. Uh, punk history podcast. We're doing stuff on the Ramones. I found this like podcast network recently called Par Parcast, P-A-R-Cast. It's like on Paranormal, whatever. Um, but they're, they come at things from like a skeptical open angle, but everything's very like clinically produced, which is kind of fun for that, for that stuff. It's not just people like BSing with these stories or whatever. It comes up as a genre on Spotify if you look at it. There's a show called uh, Conspiracies, there's a show called Unexplained Mysteries, and there's the, the new show that, that everyone has kind of like found. Um, yeah, Supernatural with Ashley Flowers. It's a, uh, the, the episodes are really riveting. I don't know what else I have. I got Spawn Chunks Minecraft podcast with uh, Pixel Riffs is in there. Um, Darknet Diaries is pretty good. Nine Club if you're into skate stuff. Side Door is a new one that I've never talked about. Smithsonian podcast. It's like... I don't know. There's some interesting stories. There's some educational stuff on there that I like. Skeptico with a K, Alex Akaris, uh, that's a that's a good it's been really interested in the the question of evil lately from like a philosophical level. Um it's a little bit uh large mind vibes going on, which is uh, not I don't know. I can only handle it sometimes, but obviously reply all, gender reveal, um 
they them theirs podcast shout out to uh rain clar and joe from they them theirs it's a great they're super cool radio rental is another yeah check that out if you haven't it's uh you should just binge the whole thing i guess ephemeral is 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 good all right now um now 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 i want to play a uh, a level of um sonic adventure battle 2 if it'll actually load up because this is variety show hours this is a game that i had as a kid for gamecube it's pretty good <laughs> pretty good all right My hands are so cold and I'm very hungry. Uh what happened to what happened to Pleasant Lost History Cybertown Station show is a great question. That probably at least one person in, in the history of the world has wondered. And the answer is I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Oh here's a cat. People love cats, right? There you go. Sure, let's make it large. Large. Whatever happens to the musician Lord. Uh right? I think I mentioned this on another thing. I I had that art show in Newark and then it got like locked down and it's still all over there. I don't if you're an artist, do you ever get the thing where like you make something? Like <clears throat> I feel as if the outside view of like being an artist might be like you make something and you're like attached to it. I don't know. But to me, it's not that way because I I made all this stuff for this art show and it's still there and I know that in the back of my head. Literally, if I never got it back, if for some reason like everything burned down, I like I wouldn't care. Sometimes like the whole adult brain thing, you're like, it would make more sense if I like received a bunch of money. <laughs> or something and like all the art went away and then at least in my head I could like connect it to be like I got paid for the the, the work that I did but it's not like that it's it's more um you just make a thing or it's like when you send somebody something I feel really bad about this when I when somebody like sends me something and I'm like all right yeah like I'll trade stuff usually I'm pretty good about this usually like in time I eventually get back to them but um there's been times on the other side where I send somebody something and they're like oh yeah for sure I'll like I'll trade you this or that for something and I just want to like send them something I'm like hey if you get to it cool if you don't it's fine and and they never send something back and then sometimes I think about that and I'm like oh yeah they had never really like sent anything back to me like that's kind of interesting like I wonder if they feel bad about that I hope they don't right because I don't care I feel like when I don't do that I'm like oh they must be think they must be waking up like every morning and thinking about how I didn't send them something back I gotta send them something back and that and that then there motivates me to, to send something back usually but I don't I think it's usually not the case <laughs> that that people even care right usually sometimes they do and and maybe if it's like a, a large enough that I don't even care though you know if I send somebody something, it's usually like if I send first, if I make the effort to go send first, it's usually because I think that person's cool. I think they deserve this thing that I'm going to send them. I don't care about the, the five bucks that I spent on like postage or whatever, which that's again, why the post office is so cool. Cause if I sent anything via UPS, uh, it would be an arm and a leg, you know, it just wouldn't be worth. I just wouldn't send anything. There's so many things in my current life where I'm like, can't afford it. Just don't want to interact with it. Cause like just F it for being so expensive. I'm not participating. I can't participate responsibly. I have like this weird thing with snowboarding cause it's so expensive to get into. It looks really fun. I've never been like, uh, yeah, I've never been snowboarding. I've been like tubing a few times with a cousin who had like a pass, but I no like, the I don't even it's like uh it's like so many other things that I don't participate. It used to be like having a cell phone. I finally got a cell phone though with like actual minutes on it. I used to carry a I used to carry a track phone and like an iPod touch around all the time or out of service iPhone. Um two phones. I got two phones, one for me and one for me. 
but now I, I know how cell phone plans work. It's really not that bad. I found one for like 20 bucks a month. Um, if you're putting off getting a cell phone, it's not that bad, <laughs> usually. Uh, but for the longest time, I didn't have one. And it was for that reason where I'm just like, ah, I just don't feel like it. Thankfully, I, I broke my, I used to not have a credit card and I broke that down. I broke that whole thing down where I'm like, I don't want, I just don't want to interact with it. I'd just rather have physical money. I used to be one of those people. It's fine. Uh, also credit scores though, you know, I don't want to play their game, but I will because <laughs> I have to, I would love to live completely off the grid or something. I do like electricity, but I also think that like humanity probably, you know, are, are we, should we live in the woods somewhere warm? I'm used, I'm used to like creature comforts of this area. Right. But I think uh, I think you could probably survive for a while without like modern modern stuff. I've been thinking a lot about wisdom teeth lately. I have one of my wisdom teeth is trying to come in, and it's just not. It's weird. Kind of hoping it'll go away, but maybe I'll have to get it pulled someday. Insurance better cover that jam. I don't have dental insurance, though. I don't know how that works. I don't know how it works, so I just put it off. Probably not the best deal. Uh, it's not actually not that bad, but I always think about that. How did humans like? break so bad that uh that we have these these things in our heads that like only modern medicine can take care of like why can't i just massage it into place i don't know anyway my time is coming to an end i gotta go help my partner with groceries uh thanks for watching my name's been here you've been here k11r.github.io and i don't know I'll see you on the next one whenever i see you happy choir